Wait, so Final Fantasy 16 you're saying is going to suck and mark your words? Just making excuses for the game? No, I'm not. These are the points that I've been advocating for since the very start. Look, it's a very simple thing. It's a very simple thing, and I'm not sure why you want to overcomplicate this. It comes down to a very simple thing. Do you accept the direction that, based off of the Dominance trailer, the Awakening trailer, the press materials, all the stuff in the interviews, do you accept the direction that Final Fantasy 16 is going now. If you do enough of it and you buy the game, then what you've proven is that you are engaging with the game. The game is engaging enough that you're willing to buy it and try it out. If you don't, if you're more or less over Final Fantasy as a series, this is the nail in the coffin for you for the 17th time, then that's fine too. No one's forcing you to play this game or to like this game. If you don't want to play it, you don't like it, you don't like Final Fantasy anymore, then just stop playing it. I'm not advocating that you just go out and buy the game and play it even if you don't like it. There was a lot of stuff about Final Fantasy 13 I didn't like. Actually, the only thing I did like was the combat. The rest of the game sucked. I would never play it again. Same thing with Final Fantasy 12. The only thing I really liked about that was the sociological structure of the storytelling. Everything else was sort of kind of meh. Half of the party, I felt, was completely worthless, except for Ash, Captain Bosch, and I'll even give you, like, Balthier, and maybe Fran going with him as a package deal. That was it. Everyone else was completely worthless, unnecessary to the story. So I wouldn't play Final Fantasy XII again. Final Fantasy XIV, a lot of it I did like. There's stuff I really don't like, but enough of it that I do like that I play it on a more or less daily basis. Final Fantasy XV, I would never play that game again. I would never buy into the DLC, and... There was a lot about that game I didn't like. So I'm honest about that. 16, based off of what I'm seeing so far, I do like a lot. And it's engaged me and intrigued me enough that I'm going to play it and I'm going to give my honest commentary. There's probably going to be stuff that I don't like, but this is what I don't understand. This is what I really, really don't understand. For those of you who are saying you're so over the series, every single thing is basically a complaint about how terrible a direction the series is going in. Why, why do you waste so much of your time going onto channels like mine, going onto other Final Fantasy channels of people who are genuinely excited for this game and complaining about how it sucks and, you know, if you like it, you're obviously just a blind fanboy. Here's the thing, you're not over it. You're not over this series. Look, I'm not a fan of Fortnite. I don't engage with it anymore. I played it on my my niece's smartphone, a couple of times, thought it was the most vapid bullshit ever. And after that, I was done with it. Like, I never engaged with it anymore. Every single time I saw a trailer for it, I just kind of go meh and then move on. I focus my channel and everything else on the games I do love. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend all this time focusing on, like, franchises I used to love but don't love anymore and then, like, trash talk the game. So, it's not like I changed my channel to... You know, Fortnite sucks. I don't prowl the forums. The game is done for me. It's like it's not even in my mind anymore. But Final Fantasy is apparently not over for the many of you who are doing nothing but complaining. And you motherfuckers know who you are. And this is the reason why I don't respond to these comments in my YouTube videos anymore. Because you know what you remind me of? You remind me of like ex-girlfriends that instead of posting on their Instagram page, this is my new life, this is my new boyfriend, this is how great my new life is, you post instead constantly pictures of your old boyfriend with like devil filters on it and saying, look how so over I am of my, no, uh, my old boyfriend. This is how much I don't need my old boyfriend anymore. And yada, 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 over and over again, you're not over anything. You just enjoy complaining for some weird reason. It's, it's called the... Um, the Al Bundy syndrome. He admitted the reason why he never divorced Peg, even though she was a horrible mother, a horrible wife, a horrible lover, because he enjoyed complaining about her. At some point, maybe in your childhood, you played Final Fantasy games that you really liked. They were part of your childhood, they were part of your memories, and now it's going in the direction that you don't agree with. So rather than just letting it go, you feel you need to hold on to it so that you have something to complain about. Right, right. So what that basically proves is that 
What you need isn't what you perceive to be a good quote unquote Final Fantasy game. What you really need is therapy. Get over it. If you're over it, you're over it. And if there's still something about this series and 16 that appeals to you, then play the game. What do you expect? You I mean, if you buy the game, it's not like Square Enix has a magical lens that can see into your soul that you loved it. If you're over it, just don't play the game. And I, I advocate that if you don't like this game anymore, don't like the series anymore, there's nothing about 16 that appeals to you, or there's only something very moderately appealing to you, and you don't want to keep feeding the machine that's going to make more games like this, then just don't play it. And that's that. <laughs>